Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching today's video. This is probably one of the most exciting videos that I've filmed because I can finally share with you guys that I created my own eyeshadow palette together with Sigma Beauty, which is available right now on sigmabeauty.com. So head over to their website if you wanna get it. In today's video, I'm gonna show you all about the palette. I'm gonna show you the shades, of course. I'm gonna swatch them. I'm gonna tell you guys the reason behind the shade names and all of that. Also, I will be doing a giveaway at the end of the video, so keep watching if you wanna have the chance to win this palette. You guys know like my channel is all about eye looks. That's kind of like my focus point. So I have always told myself like one day I wanna have my own eyeshadow palette. And then around three years ago, Sigma Beauty um, contacted me and asked if I wanted to make my dream palette with them. And I felt so freaking honored. Like I have been working with Sigma Beauty for such a long time. Um, I think they have been one of the first brands that sent me PR back in the days when I started my makeup journey on social media. And I have always used their brushes in my videos. I have been a long time fan. Of course, I created my own brush kit with them, which I have shared with you guys many times. But now to have my own eyeshadow palette with them is just a dream come true. And I feel super honored that they wanna work with me. Now, I think we're just gonna dive right into the video. I wanna show you guys the inside, but first let's see how the outside looks. You can see all eye looks that I created myself. Two of them are actually my fiance's eyes. You can see him right here and there. I think that's quite funny that he's on the packaging as well. And I just wanted the packaging to be super bold with all the eye looks that I made to give, to give like some instant inspiration on what you can do with this. And like I said earlier, I filmed a lot of videos on these eye looks, so these will be coming on my YouTube channel as well. Now on the back side of the packaging, you can see a little note that I left at the top it says pro eyeshadow palette that's the name of the palette and i left a little note which says a palette that you can use to create anything you want a warm toned or cool toned smoky eye a halo eye look a cut crease colorful look you name it i hope you will love this palette as much as i do and so that was kind of my vision with this palette i want you to be able to do a lot of different looks with this and here you have all the colors the names of the colors all the ingredients, of course, and that it's PETA approved. So all the products are clean and animal friendly, which is really important, of course. I picked all the names myself and I also made all the shades with Sigma Beauty. So they're all new shades which are not existing in the Sigma collection yet. So when you open the package, it looks like this. So the actual palette itself is quite clean looking. I wanted it to kind of have that professional vibe and to balance it, I wanted the paper package of the palette to be super bold to kind of balance everything out. <laughs> I love a clean look. I just feel like it looks really professional. Um, I know some people really like glittery and all of that, but I love a clean packaging and I first want to show you guys the back side. So here again, you have all the shades with the names, which I'm going to explain to you guys later. And it says Anouk. Well, you actually pronounce it as Anknoak, but I know some people cannot pronounce it. So I always say Anouk. Um, it's the Pro Eyeshadow Palette. And yeah, let's just open it up. So when you open the package, this is how it looks. It has a little plasticky on top of it to protect all the eyeshadows. The palette comes with 20 shades in total, which are really buttery soft and super blendable. It has a large mirror, which is really handy for you to use to apply your eyeshadow. And like I said earlier, the palette is clean and cruelty free, and that means it's animal friendly and without harsh chemicals, which is really important to me. So these are all the shades that I picked. You can see some warm tones, some cool tones, some pop of colors. I really wanted to include like a black matte, a matte black <laughs> and also a matte white, which I really love to use for underneath the brow. Of course, I wanted to have some neutrals. I love warm tones because they pop my eye color, but they look beautiful on brown eyes as well. I wanted to pop some sparkles. And I also really wanted to make sure to add some cool tones because I love a cool tone eye look as well, just like I'm wearing right now. But I want you to be able to do like a warm tone smoky eye, a cool tone smoky eye, a cool tone halo eye look, a warm tone eye, halo eye look. 
I wanted you to be able to do like different versions with this eye look. And of course I wanted to pop some colors in there as well. I love a blue smoky eye. I love a purple smoky eye. I think those are actually my main favorite colors when it comes to colorful colors. Um, so yeah, I really hope you guys like the color shades that I picked. I think it's really wearable. You can go so many directions with the palette. So when it comes to the shade names, I made this palette quite personal. Some of them kind of speak for themselves, but also some of them are very personal. So if I wouldn't explain, you probably wouldn't know what that means. So I'm going to swatch them and explain to you what these names mean to me. So we're going to start at the top going from left to right. So the first color is called Tan, which is a medium orange brown matte. And the reason I call it Tan is because it's a light brown color. And I love having a tan because I'm really pale for myself. The next color is called Vision, which is a rosy bronze shimmer. Um, I call it Vision because it's the name of my fiance and he loves when I wear colors like this. Then the next color is called Glaze and this is a kind of like soft ivory shimmer, which is really nice to pop in the inner corner. And it reminded me of cinnamon glaze. That's why I called it glaze. <laughs> the next color is called Cottage, which is a clean white matte color. I love using a matte white underneath the brow. And the reason I call it Cottage is because I love cottage cheese and it has the same color. Then the next shade is called Lana, which is a light blue matte. I called it Lana because it's the name of my niece and her favorite color is light blue. So I thought it would be perfect to call it Lana because I love my niece and it's nice to like have her name in my palette. So those are the first five shades. Then now we're gonna go for the next five shades. And the first color is called Cinnamon Roll. I love cinnamon rolls. Um, it's one of my favorite snacks, so it's just something I had to do. <laughs> the next color is called Tiki Masala. It's my favorite meal. So I mean, it has the same color as a Tiki Masala. So it's just the perfect name. The next we have the color Virgo. I am a Virgo and this is a really like light orangey nude matte. So I thought it would be perfect. Then we have the color Gleam. This is a silvery white glitter and I just feel like it looks really gleamy. It's like a really soft sparkle. The next we have the color 1992, which just reminded me of my childhood. I'm born in 1992. This is a blue matte. Then we go to the next five shades. And the first color is called Worthy. I have this thing where I always feel like I'm not worth enough. And this is a golden shade. And I just felt like it's a nice reminder that you're worth it. The next we have the color Cacao. I love a chocolate. <laughs> this is like a pecan brown matte shade. Next we have the color nacho cheese. I love nacho cheese. Again, I am a food lover. And then next we have the color concrete. I love concrete. We have a concrete looking floor in our house and I just love it. Next we have Jacqueline, which is the name of my mom, which is a vibrant purple pearl color. And the next, the last five colors of the palette. The first color is called July 11, which is a reddish mocha matte, which is the date that me and my fiance got together. Then we have the color Levine, which is a deep black matte, which is kind of a resemble of Ever Levine, which I used to be a fan of back in the days. Then we have the color Adorn, which is a bronze gold shimmer, which is the name of my favorite song that reminds me of my fiance. Then we have the color Leon, which is a medium gray matte. And this is the name of my dad and he has gray hair. So I thought it was just funny. <laughs> and then last but not least, we have the color Knovos, which is a light lavender matte. And this is kind of the name of how we call my family. And this color really reminds me of that. And of course, I wanted to include my family in the palette because they mean a lot to me. Now, I also thought it would be nice to show you the eye look that I'm wearing in today's video because obviously I did use my palette for this. So I'm going to quickly show you how I did this. First, I went in with the color Cottage, which is that matte white color and used this underneath the highest point of my eyebrow. I'm using all Sigma Beauty brushes. I will put a link in the description bar because I do have a special discount code that you can use um, to get discount on their website. Now I went in with the Sigma E40 brush and I used that concrete color and then I went in with the color Leon and blended this more around the outer end of the eyelid to kind of like darken it up. And just take your time with this. You can go in with as much as you want, uh, but I went for quite like a soft eye look today. 
Then I went in with the color Cottage again, same color as I used for underneath the brow. And now kind of like blending it in the inner corner of the eye. Then I went in with the color Gleam, that silvery white glitter, which is actually a super soft glitter. You can also use it on top of a different eyeshadow to make it sparkly, or you can use it on its own like I did today, but it will just give you a really beautiful, subtle, like subtle glitter on your eyelids. I absolutely love it. Then I went in with some eyeliner and a Sigma E75 brush and I went for a wing liner. Um, I love a wing liner. I know this is just a personal preference. Some people do love it, some people don't. Uh, and some people cannot because of their the shape of their eyes or they just don't feel like it looks good on them. So if you're recreating this look, of course, you can also go for like a simple line above the lash line or ski skip the eyeliner if you don't like it. Then I went in with like a silvery pencil for in my waterline, just to kind of like match with all the cool tone shades that I used. Then I went back in with the color Leon and a flat definer brush from Sigma and kind of blending this back and forth underneath the lower lash line. Then I went in with a tiny blending brush and just blending this all the way underneath the lower lash line. I used a combination of concrete and Leon. And then I went in with the color Cottage again and popping a little bit more of that in the inner corner of my eye to make it as bright as possible. And this matte color is super white, so I absolutely love it. Then I curled my lashes and applied some mascara. And after this, it was already time for some fake lashes. And that's the final step. I hope you guys like how this look turned out. And like I said earlier in my video, I filmed a lot of looks with the palette already, a lot of different looks. So I have a lot of inspiration coming for you all. Um, so definitely keep an eye on my YouTube channel if you want to see a lot more videos where I will be using this palette. Then this is the end of the video. I really hope you like the video, kind of getting to know more about the palette, the story behind the names and all of that. I'm just super excited and super grateful for Sigma Beauty. So a big thank you to Sigma Beauty for making this possible. And yeah, I'm so happy that I can finally share this with you all. So one more time, thanks for watching. Hopefully I will be seeing you wearing the palette and hopefully until next time. Bye guys.